everyone so this particular video is just to help people who are first-time buyers or who really aren't that knowledgeable when it comes to computer buying and like it says here I'm trying to help you avoid the pitfalls and essentially there's there's a number of ways that companies are trying to nickel and dime you and they're trying to get every dollar they can out of you so this is just informational to help you avoid buying a bad computer and we're getting it later on this is gonna help you And as you see here I've got processor I wouldn't recommend any of the AMD processors and there's a reason why they're they're sold for less and that people have said that they've got lower quality that they won't last as long so just to avoid the first first pitfall I see a lot of people make is processor you need to go with Intel we don't have five or six different processor companies right now we've got Intel and AMD mostly it, it, you have to pick between the two if one of them has significantly bad quality I'm gonna call them out on it and they're about the same price honestly a lot of people say well Intel is really expensive actually you can get really good Intel computers for about the same price that you would get an AMD so um, I would definitely say first pitfall make sure you get the right processor the other thing you need to understand is when you're buying computers don't worry about the company really some people say you should buy Dell some people say oh why don't you buy HP Acer Lenovo Lenovo used to be owned by um, IBM and IBM sold their computer division to a, a Chinese manufacturer and the Chinese manufacturer renamed that computer division Lenovo so I am very knowledgeable about these companies it's just they don't these companies I'm gonna put right here they don't make uh, the components they don't make the processors they don't make the RAM they put the computer together maybe they have their own proprietary wires all they really do is QA and QC QA and QC what Q and QC are just just are that's just quality quality assurance and quality control which is why I usually buy from them I hesitate I used to build my computers uh, in the 2000 era and I found that everyone that I built or everyone I got even the, my the best of people to build you know I, I went and I found the best computer builders and they made it I, it's still it wasn't the same because we didn't put in any quality assurance or quality control measures we just bought whatever was out there we didn't test it we didn't you know do anything like that so the only thing they really do is they try to make sure they go for good components some do better QA QC others do worse so in general don't worry about the company when they say the company honestly I ignore it I really don't care I don't care who made that computer if you want to buy if you're a first-time computer buyer ignore who made the computer and that that's gonna save you a lot of headache because some people are like oh I only want to buy HP and that's just wasting your time so to continue with the video I don't want this to be too long um, you want to make sure that there's it's a process so you want to make sure that processors Intel you want to make sure that the comp you don't really don't care that much about the company and the other thing you want to make sure is you should probably buy online and try to avoid sales tax so the best site I know of is Tigers Direct Tigers Direct if you go to TigersDirect.com um, there's six or seven states that they charge sales tax in every other state they don't and they often give you free shipping they often give free shipping and no sales tax so unless you're it's sadly you live in one of those states um, you most likely will be getting a uh, you will be getting a, a sales tax free which is significant a five hundred dollar computer sales tax is going to be more than fifty dollars so you got you got to be careful there or it's going to be somewhere around fifty dollars something like that um, so you you want to avoid that definitely and and I find that a lot of the best deals are online so make sure you, you check online um, so you can avoid sales tax and your shipping and besides these you want to going back to components you want to make sure your RAM is 6 gig or more and the reason for this is there's a lot of programs especially games that will hit 4 gigs fairly easily so just to give you some wiggle room I suggest having 6 gigs or more don't buy anything less than 4 gigs 4 gig is bare minimum it's it's bare minimum and then as far as price price you should avoid anything more than well let, let me finish my thought okay avoid anything more than 600 if you are an average PC goer and I say that because this video is not meant for people who know computers really well the person watching this most likely you 
you don't know computers in depth and you're not going to use it to a very high degree. You just want it to do whatever the average person wants it to do okay or, or well or at a high at a high degree very quickly. So for you, I mean you you wouldn't you don't need a core i seven for instance. You you would do fine with the Intel I'm gonna put right here uh core i five or better or better. Just to be more specific. You I I wouldn't I would recommend against the Core i three. If you can find a Core i seven that's priced less than six hundred, go ahead. But anything more than six hundred and you're really getting shafted, in my opinion. You're not a good deal is, is above four hundred and an average deal is in the five hundreds and uh an amazing a bad deal is like I said six hundred. Amazing deal would be like four forty or something, depending on what you what what goes into the computer. Um besides the RAM hard drive at least 500 gigs, half a terabyte. I mean, data is so cheap nowadays. I don't know why they would give you less than that. And here's the most important point, operating system. This is actually why I made this video to begin with. These are all points that I, you know, are important, but the most important thing is you need to avoid Windows 8. This is hard because all, all, like 90% of new computers are being shipped with Windows 8. Windows 8 does not have a start button. It doesn't it's not very intuitive. It's very it takes four or five different tasks just to shut the computer down. For people that know Windows, it's difficult. For people that don't know Windows, it's even more difficult. It's not very intuitive. So, if you if you're a first time buyer or you're not very you don't know, you know, you're not very knowledgeable with computers, you need to avoid Windows 8. I have a telling story about this. So the inspiration for me to make this video, I was buying a computer for my cousin and she just doesn't know very much about computers. She wanted my advice. We found a great one for her for four fifty. Four hundred fifty dollars, great deal. But it had Windows eight and her family, they know computers the least of any family. And it's not their fault, it's just they haven't had the opportunity to, you know, work with a computer that much. And so we went out of our way. We bought another computer that it was worth the price jump. Basically, we went from 450 to 530. So the final price was 530. We bought it on Tiger's Direct, like I said, you should buy online. We went to it was $530. You we got a bunch more RAM, a bunch more memory. Basically, the price jump was worth it for the quality. Dollar for dollar, it was worth the the price. And remember, a computer is an investment. You don't buy a computer every you know month or replace or even every year. You wouldn't want to do that. So it's worth it to put a little bit extra in so that the rest of the four years or three years that you're going to use it, you you can get the you know you'll get it back every dollar you've put in. You'll get four dollars of efficient time back. So anyways, we went out of our way. We 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 paid that, but. Honestly, we might have gotten a lesser quality computer just because they probably wouldn't have pushed it if it had Windows 7. Windows 8 was the deal breaker. It 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 forced us to buy the Windows 7 computer that was $530. Because honestly, they they probably won't use that extra juice that's in that computer, but it's good that it's there. It was a good deal. But that has Windows 7 and the cheaper computer did not have Windows 7. It came with Windows 8 and Windows 8 is obnoxious for new people to use. So this is it. I want to I want to stop the video here. If you're a first time computer buyer or you're new to computers and you just need help, if you want to avoid the pitfalls, make sure you get an Intel processor and I would recommend Core i5 or better. Don't get a Core i3. There's going to be a bunch of other processors out there. Um, for for this whole year, if you're watching this in December of 2013, even then, get a Core i5 or better. And and if you want to be more specific, you might want to look at the model. Every Core i5 has a four-digit number next to it. Make sure it says like 3,000 something. 3,000. Like that's what I put the X's for. Either 3300 three, or 3450. You if if you can get those. That's the third generation model. If you get like a 2,000 something, like a 2,800. That's a second generation model, so you want to avoid those. So, okay, first thing, processor, like I mentioned. Second thing is, do not worry about the company. Please ignore the company. The companies do not make the processors. They don't make the power supplies. They don't make the motherboards. They don't make these components. They put them together. All they really do is QA and QC, which is, and 
they've become really good at it, and, and I've found that the computers you buy from them, is, is, in general, seem to do better than uh, you build from hand. Third is you should probably buy online. If you find a better deal in a store, go get it. Some stores, they're price matching online. So if you find a better deal, do that. Be careful, though. If you buy in a store, you're going to pay sales tax. If you buy online, you save sales tax. Every $100 in California, we have to give $8 back. So if it's $500, it's 8 times 5 is 40 bucks right there. So if you want to save easy 40 bucks, you simply buy online. Fourth thing is RAM. Make sure it's 6 gigs or more. My personal computer has 9 gigs. The computer I bought for my cousin has 10 gigs. Four is a bare minimum. Don't get And then price, anything, avoid everything above 600. If something says 600, run away from it like it's 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 a ripoff essentially you want to be in the five hundred dollar range um, and you can find computers like that and the sixth point hard drive make sure you get it you pay uh, you get at least five hundred gigs the one I, I got from my cousin was two terabytes my personal computer has seven hundred fifty gigs um, and I use space like there's no other so I think at least five hundred four hundred gigs somewhere around that you should be good so I hope this hel helps you avoid the pitfalls. Please leave questions down below. I'm here for you. I, I answer every single comment. I'm very, very good about it. I know I have a bunch of people that comment, but I'm very good about answering questions. So if you've got any questions whatsoever that have to do with computers, leave them down below. I will get to them. I will reply. Um, you can, you can uh, throw me a message through YouTube. Uh, I'm here to help you guys. That's why I made this video. And uh, oh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> the last point operating system yeah this is again this is why I made the video please do not get Windows 8 you will regret it get Windows 7 um, it's it might be harder to get it if if you absolutely can't find a Windows 7 computer let's say that they stop even selling computers with Windows 7 by the end of this year print 100 percent of them um, become Windows 8 at that point buy a really cheap Windows 8 computer and consider buying um, a Windows 7 disk and maybe reformatting it. I mean, that's pretty dramatic stuff, but consider that. I don't know. Hopefully, they fix Windows 8 by then. I don't know. But th that's my video. I've wasted enough of your time by now. Uh, well, I'm, I, I've ed educated you, so I hope I haven't, uh, haven't wasted that much. Thanks, guys, for your time. I hope this helps. Leave your questions below. And um, yeah, take care. Bye.